Hi all, welcome back. In the previous few videos, we saw about uh, the Spark shared variables, uh, namely uh, broadcast variables and accumulators. In the next few set of videos, we will be looking at what are Spark transformations and actions. Uh, before jumping directly into the transformation and actions, it is very important to understand what is lazy evaluation. I guess most of you would have come across this term lazy evaluation. So let us try to understand what is lazy evaluation. So before I jump into the technical description of this particular keyword, let me try to explain in simple terms, then we will move to the technical definition. See, suppose if your family wants you to buy certain items from a specific store, you collect the list of items to be purchased and write it to a small piece of paper. You make all the necessary arrangement to reach at the desired shop. The actual shopping would begin only when you reach the shop and we do nothing until that. Am I right? Same way, if you tell Spark to operate on a set of data, if you want to clean the data, if you want to transform it and do various kinds of aggregations or uh, sorting and various uh, operations on the data, it listens to what you ask it to do, it writes down some shorthand for it so that it doesn't forget and then it absolutely do nothing. It will continue to do nothing until you ask for the final answer. Okay, you got my point. Let us try to understand lazy evaluation in technical terms. So in Spark, RDD transformations are lazy operations, meaning none of the transformations get executed until you call an action on PySpark RDD. So we have PySpark RDD and we do all kinds of transformations on that. Spark just listens to whatever we say to it and it executes only when an action on the PySpark RDD is triggered. Since RDDs are immutable, any transformations on it will result in a new RDD leaving the current one unchanged. Okay, this actually saves the time and unwanted processing power. So let us also try to imagine two different scenarios. Okay, scenario one, when Spark is not lazy, when Spark is not lazy, see suppose Spark doesn't have the feature of lazy evaluation. In that case, you have an 1 GB of file loaded into the memory from the HDFS and we are trying to do the transformations on it. Okay. Suppose if you have a simple transformation like this. So you have an RDD created. Okay. And you're doing certain set of steps to load the data from the cluster like uh, HDFS or uh, any other means of storage services. Okay. Next, you are actually printing the uh, line one. For example, if you want to print the first line from the particular file. Okay. If Spark is not lazy, when the first line gets executed, the entry would be made to the DAG, directed acyclic graph, and one GB of file would be loaded into the memory. So the entire content of the file will be loaded into the memory. And in the second line would be a big disaster actually, is that just to print the first line, the entire one GB of file is loaded into the memory. Okay, this is the case when Spark is not lazy. Suppose when Spark is lazy, let's see the scenario 2. When Spark is not lazy, same way you are reading the 1 GB of file data from cluster uh, HDFS storage. Okay, and in the next, you are printing the first line alone. Okay, so now Spark has the feature of lazy evaluation. So what will happen in this case? The first line 
will get executed and entry is made in the directed acyclic graph and the entire execution plan is built and spark does certain internal optimization so instead of loading the entire 1 gb file only the first line of the file will be loaded into the memory and it will print it so actually this feature helps to avoid too much of computations and makes way for optimization just imagine the case a single file with 1 GB when it is loaded into the memory. But in the actual scenario, there will be a certain plenty of files or millions of files of certain size, like similar to 1 GB. If, when everything is loaded into the memory, whichever is not required, it is definitely a burden for the application. So since Spark has this lazy evaluation, the planning is done. The internal optimization is done based upon our requirement. This actually improves our computation and makes a way for optimization. Okay, I think you're clear about what is lazy evaluation. So let us now try to understand about uh, the transformations and actions. So Spark has certain operations which can be performed on an RDD. So an operation is a method which can be applied on an RDD Okay, so operation is something called as a method which can be applied on an RDD to accomplish certain task. So you wanted to do something and you want to make some operations. So these operations are done upon an RDD to accomplish a certain task. So RDD supports two kinds of operations uh, which are called as the actions and transformations. And operations can be something as simple as sorting, filtering and summarizing. Okay. So the following are the certain transformations which are most commonly used in um, Spark. We will try to understand these with the help of examples and as well as we will proceed with the co most commonly used actions as well which are supported by Spark. Thanks for uh, watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.